This is the highest selling? Oh, she's beautiful. Puts Popeyes to shame. Is that blasphemous? Every time a McDonald's restaurant opens, an angel gets its wings. So Dominic, we are about to put your fast food knowledge to the test. Mm. Sounds good. Actually, we're really hungry. So we're gonna see if you can correctly guess the top 10 highest grossing fast food chains in the United States in order, starting from the highest grossing to the least grossing of the top 10. Wow, if we're going based on money, I've given all of them at least a million dollars. We all know that McDonald's is probably the best selling fast food chain in the US, but like, who's next? We're doing this because it is National Fast Food Day. Oh my God, a day we should all celebrate. For each of these, we will be showing you the top selling item from each fast food chain. Oh, I know these well. First up is the crunchy beef taco from Taco Bell. This is the highest selling item? I'm not a fan of tacos that much, but I just want to see it just to see like, yeah, I'm more of a chicken person. <laughs> Taco Bell is a personal favorite of mine. Like, <laughs> I, I'm here all the time. I always get the same thing. Usually I always get the beefy Fritos burrito. I used to eat Taco Bell all the time. It was like the go-to because it's super cheap. I'll eat anything off of Taco Bell depending on how drunk I am. Taco Bell has, I think, a very specific demographic where it's like stoners, people that love cheap food, so college students. I mean, I feel like I should eat it just to get a better gauge. Taco Bell's such a classic. So where do you think okay. this ranks in the list of top grossing fast food chains? Okay, I'm gonna rank this number three. Americans love tacos. as almost as much as we love burgers. So I'm gonna put this at four. I think Taco Bell's so good. It has to be either two or three, but for me, I'm gonna put two. All right, next up. Krispy Kreme. Is Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Donuts. So this is Dunkin's top selling item, Munchkins, which were actually introduced to the public in 1972. Oh wow, I never get Munchkins ever. That's why I said I'm curious as to what will show up on this list because I didn't expect donuts to show up as fast food. It's just like eating a cloud, but it's gonna make me more like a brick. So good. I didn't eat breakfast either today, so it was perfect. It's like dough with icing and it's great. Mm. Now I know why it's the top selling item. When I was thinking fast food, I was thinking like actual foods. I didn't even think of like pastries, donuts. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and give it number four. This is number nine because when you think of fast food, you don't think of donuts usually. I don't really eat Dunkin', so that makes me automatically want to put it towards the bottom. I'm gonna put it at eight. Next, we have the Baconator from Wendy's. Wendy's, solid Twitter account. Look at that, the square patty. Anything with bacon when I was a kid was just like, I usually don't get burgers from Wendy's though. I would always get like the baked potato. It's like overwhelming. <laughs> Once upon a time I got these at least like three, four times a week. I would normally not get something like this. It's not that good. I feel like Wendy's is like a four. I'm gonna probably say two. If you go by their Twitter, they should be number one. Um, God damn, I love that Twitter. I'm gonna make this number three. Here's the next thing. Ooh, what's this? This is Panera Bread's broccoli cheddar soup. Ooh, this is gonna be a first for me. So at the end of the 2000s, the idea of labeling restaurants that don't offer full table service but advertise higher quality food were dubbed the name fast casual restaurants, which still make the list. Nice. That I would consider it. Because it's a place that like, you go when you want to sit down, but also it's not like a cheesecake factory where you have to get dressed up. So is like Chipotle gonna be on here? I don't think that's fast food though. I like feel healthy when I eat Panera. That's good. It's like fondue-y. It's better in a bread bowl though. I'm more of a corner bakery girl, but like Panera, Panera is okay. Damn, okay, that's pretty good actually. Panera is definitely not the most popular of the fast food variant, but it is more expensive than the average one. So things like McDonald's and stuff, you can get like an entire meal there for three bucks. This, it's gonna cost you like 12 bucks. So that automatically makes it four times more profitable. God, this is the only math I care about. I'm gonna say nine. Seven. This is with a heavy heart. I love you, Panera. I'm gonna put this as my number 10, but maybe that'll change. So next up, is Subway's Italian oh, okay. BMT, which stands for biggest, meatiest, tastiest. This doesn't look like big meat. It's like the most colorful sandwich I've ever seen. I don't see that much meat on it. At Cal Poly, there's a whole bunch of fast, fast food places and Subway is the only line where it's like a 20 minute wait. 
Like, I don't know why people love it so much. Okay. Interesting. Subway's not my first instinct. I don't think I'm ever craving it. As a Subway sandwich artist, I would have added a lot more different things, but you know, can't complain. It's really good. Are you a, a sandwich artist? I mean, I don't work there, but when I make my own, I feel like one. I see why this one's the most popular item from Subway. Cause it is, it's like what you want from a sandwich. I'm gonna place it at six. Number three. Cause I feel like a lot of people go to Subway. Subway's bigger than I give it credit for. I'm gonna say four, honestly, right behind Taco Bell. Next we have, yes, top three. This has to be pepperoni pizza from <laughs> Domino's. Fun fact, Domino's sell an average of three million pizzas a day. Wait, slices or full pizzas? Pizzas. Wow. Domino's is my go-to pizza spot because it's probably the cheapest one. I like, it's one of the only franchises that I'm signed up for points with. Domino's has the best pizza in my opinion. Their crust is like really good. Their garlic is undefeated though. Domino's has the best garlic bread in the game. I'll tell you one thing, you don't sell how many million pizzas a day? Three million. Three million pizzas a day and not be close to the top of this list. Their pastas and their chicken wings are also really good. This one has to be four. So I'm just gonna put them on eight. Domino's number two. It's sharing the market with a lot of other places. I, maybe nine, honestly. So this. <gasps> oh my God, Chick-fil-A. This is the deluxe chicken Oh my God, sandwich. oh my God, oh my God, I'm so excited. I love Chick-fil-A. I was so addicted to Chick-fil-A that one time I went twice in one day. I don't necessarily support their political views and where they put their money, but I support good chicken sandwiches. So this is the deluxe chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Oh, I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a long time. I feel conflicted. Oh, she's beautiful. Puts Popeyes to shame. Is that blasphemous to say? Chick Fil A is so good, man. Like, I'm changing my answer. I'm only putting it where it's gonna. You know what? I'm putting it at number one. This is so good. Definitely my favorite, and I hope it's everyone's favorite. The best sauce of all time, the Chick Fil A sauce. Wow. All together, it works so well. I'm gonna have to put it number one, but I I think I'm gonna need to do some reordering. I'm gonna say probably seven. Number one. I don't even know the rest. Chick Fil A number one. They don't open on Sundays though. And it seems that everyone in the world seems to crave their sandwiches on Sundays. I'm gonna put Chick-fil-A at seven. Next up, another fast casual restaurant sneaks its way in. This is the Starbucks famous pumpkin spice latte. I know it well. Which was actually first introduced in 2003 for the holidays. Oh. And sold roughly 424 million worldwide. No way. It's crazy, like I've seen so many memes about this pumpkin spice latte. Starbucks, you don't think like fast food because people just go and like get drinks, coffees and stuff like that, but they do sell sandwiches. I'm keeping this. This is really good. It tastes like fall. Wow, that hit me with so many fall feelings. I feel like it's Christmas. This is the most popular though. That's really, I think it's because it's seasonal. People like, they're like, oh, I can't get it for the summertime, so I have to get it during winter. It's good, but there's a lot better things on the menu. I'm gonna put in number two because it's very good. Six for now, but I don't think it's what they deserve. There's a convenience element with Starbucks. Like you just walk in, you get a coffee, you keep going. I feel like this might be number one. So this is the Whopper from Burger King, which has actually been around since 1957. I've been eating it for a long time. People sh on Burger King, but like it's pretty good. You know you're in America when you see a big ass burger that you can get for like $2. Is this gonna change my life? I don't think so. Whoppers are good, like these hit. These hit the like the munchy feeling. I understand why it's popular. It's good. I feel like Wendy's burgers are better. Those are really good. That's way better than the, the Baconator. There's just something about Burger King that tastes especially cardboard. I've never had this before. Okay, let's see if this is good. I mean, it's fast food trash. I'm gonna put it for number nine. This feels like a test. A nine. Nobody really likes Burger King. We're gonna place Mr. BK at 10. For now, I'm gonna put it at six because I only have six in second and Burger King is not number two. Well, it gives you number two. Truth. The last up is McDonald's with their French fries. Fun fact, a new McDonald's restaurant opens every 14 and a half hours. I believe it. <laughs> I mean, like, if they do weddings, they do it all. Every time a McDonald's restaurant opens, an angel gets its wings. I don't even like French fries. If they're not curly and they don't have seasoning, McDonald's never does that. They just put a lot of salt on it. So I'm not gonna eat these ones. Just a good old McDonald's fry. There are better french fries out there. I think I like Burger King french fries better. Dipping these in ice cream, that's the secret to these fries. There's a drug in these, I know there is. There's a lot of equity among the burgers. 
of the, all these places, but French fries, it's like McDonald's is so obviously way ahead. Eight. I guess. Those are some good fries. I'm gonna put it on number 10, but it's number one. Like, I can't, I'm sorry, Chick-fil-A. I think they are number two, because I think Subway might still be above them. So now that you've indulged, you've ranked all of this food, we're gonna give you a chance to make some changes. Thank you. <laughs> Subway's two, Chick-fil-A's three, Wendy's is four. Dunkin' Donuts is 10 for sure. Panera is nine. Um, Wendy's is eight. You know what, I'm not gonna reorder anything. I put a lot of work into this. <laughs> I'm gonna frame this after. Coming in at number 10 with $5.7 billion in sales is Panera Bread. I knew it was low, but I believed in it too much. I knew it, I knew it, I'm so excited. I knew it. It's fast food, but it's barely fast food. With $6.6 .6 billion in sales at number nine is Domino's. Huh, okay. I gave them way more credit than they deserved. I was way off. Domino's is number four, I think. <laughs> that one I f***ed up on. <laughs> hey, that's what I had. So I already have enough points, I can leave. I just wanted to be on the board. All right, number eight with $8.7 billion in sales is Duncan. Okay. That's... Actually pretty high up there. Uh, I put nine for Duncan. That's a point. Oh my God, I got a point. I put at nine. Oh, okay, I got Duncan right on it. Number seven with $9.95 .9 billion in sales is Burger King. Oh, and at six. Okay, that's still a point. I put at five. This is harder than I thought. I put Burger King at number 10. But they did better than what I thought they would do. Number six with $9.99 .9 billion in sales is Wendy's. I put it at three. I put Wendy's at... Four. Aww. Nice, got that one. I got this one at the bag. If it wasn't because of the Twitter, it would have been like number 11 or something. Number five, with $10 billion in sales, is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A? I underestimated Chick-fil-A. I put them at seven. Taco Bell is bigger than Chick-fil-A? It's because Chick-fil-A is not open on Sunday. That's why. Number four, with $10.3 billion, is Taco Bell. All right, Taco Bell at seven, and Starbucks at four. Okay, I'm losing now. I get a point for that one. I was close. I put Taco Bell at number three, so I get a point. Woo. Number three, with $10.4 billion in sales, is Subway. Straight up wrong, Domino's is what I put. This is the most points I've ever got. It's three? What? No one talks about Subway. And number two, with $19.7 billion in sales, is Starbucks. Ah, oh, they're number four. Why did I put them higher? What's wrong with me? You know, we're number eight. <laughs> well, y'all. <laughs> I put three. Three points. Give you guy eight. Right on the money. Right on the money. And finally, at number one, with a staggering $38.5 billion, dollars, is McDonald's. Really? Was it a question? Was it even? We knew. I should have figured McDonald's is global and it's a massive corporation. I'm proud of myself. I feel good that I know as much fast food as I do, but maybe this also means I should eat healthier. <laughs> Thanks for watching this tasty episode of College Kids React. What's your favorite fast food place? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. Thanks so much for watching this episode of College Kids React. To check out our other yummy episodes across all generations, hit up those links down in the description. Bye, guys.